Hello guys. So today we are going to discuss our first operation research problem and we are going to discuss the basics of operation research and how operation research problems are approached. So this is a basic problem and we will learn the basics of operation research problem solutions. So imagine that you have a five week business commitment between Fideville and Denver. You fly out of Fideville on Mondays and return on Wednesdays. So Denver is the name of a place and Fideville is the name of a place and it's codenamed as FYV and DEN. So we fly out of Fideville on Mondays and return on Wednesdays. Okay. A regular round trip costs $400. But a 20% discount is granted if the round trips date span a weekend. So if our round trip spans a weekend, we have a 20% discount. I 0.88 uh, portion of the regular round trip cost. A one-way ticket in either direction costs 75% of the regular price. So 0.75 portion of the dollar 400, which is the regular price. So how? Would you buy the tickets for the five week period? So in this problem, we need to find the best possible combination in which our cost will be minimized. Okay. So first of all, we need to discuss few points about the problem. First of all, it's a decision making problem. I will need to make some decision on either on to how to maxi minimize the cost. Okay. Then further, we need to decide what are the decision alternatives. Okay, so what kind of alternatives we can find in this problem? Under what restrictions is the decision made? So we might have many restrictions and in this res what type of restrictions we have in this problem? What is an appropriate objective function or objective criteria for evaluating the alternatives? So objective criteria determines the either the minimization or maximization so here we have minimization of cost so we need to minimize the cost for a five week period so in this problem we have three possible alternatives or cases so first case is Fightable to Denver then to Fightable okay so it's a round trip spanning so we did do this for five consecutive weeks okay so it's a round trip so we go from Fightable to Denver, we leave Fideville on Monday and we then go back to Fideville on Wednesday of the same week. So this is of the same week. I, you can understand that we are actually ignoring the weekends. We are not considering the weekends. So a normal round trip cost is $400. So we multiply $400 with 5 which is for 5 weeks and we have $2000. Then we move on to the second case. So in the second case, we first go from Fateville to Denver. We leave Fateville on Monday. And in the next iteration, we actually go back to Fateville on Wednesday of the same week. Okay. And then again, we leave for Denver on Wednesday. And we then again go back to Fateville on Wednesday. And then we again go back to Fertable on Wednesday and consecutively we actually are here in the second last week. Okay. We are in Fertable and then we again leave for Denver. Okay. And in the last week we actually need to go back to Fertable. Okay. So finally we approach Fertable in Wednesday by a single round trip. So this is a single round trip. And in the first iteration also this is a single round trip single trip okay i have one way trip so in this one way trip we actually from going from monday to wednesday to fightable we return fightable and we have four cases we have four cases which are actually round trips so here we include the weekends also so it's a round trip including the weekends i spend the weekend in flightable in the round trip okay so this is this combination is one week then this combination is one week, then this combination is one week and consecutively we have one week. So if we total these combinations, we have total five weeks. So if we have crossed five weeks with two one-way trips, 
two one-way trips, two one-way trips, and four round trips. So if we uh, estimate the cost of travel, we have uh, so for our single uh, one-way ticket, we have which cost seventy-five percent of the regular price. So here we have two cases of one-way trips. So two into zero point seven five into dollar four hundred, and we have four round trips spanning weekends. So if we span weekends, we have twenty percent discount, i.e. eighty percent of the original price. Okay. So we have four into zero point eight into dollar four hundred. So which calculates to one thousand eight hundred eighty dollars. Now we move on to the third case. In the third case, we actually merge the one-way trips FYV to Den and Den to FYV for a single round trip spanning weekends. So it does not span weekend or single weekend, but it spans from four four weekends. So it's a round trip spanning weekends. Okay. And in the the four cases, intermediate are similar. So if we are leaving from Monday, arriving on Wednesday of the same week, and then we are leaving uh, for Denver, and then we are arriving on Friday on Wednesday, so this goes on. So here we include weekends, so it's a round trip including the weekends. So the four cases are including weekends, and this the first and the last case are actually being single round trip. Okay, single round trip. We are merging this into a one trip. So the this was the cost of travel for the second case, and in this case we are merging the first case, the first case which are actually the first and the last cases. We merge them into a single portion, which is a single round trip spanning weekend. So one into zero point eight into dollar four hundred plus four into zero point eight into dollar four hundred, which are the four cases, which is five into. 0.8 into dollar 400, which is dollar 1,600. So the restrictions of the problem are: you should be able to leave FYV on Monday and return at the initial destination on Wednesday of the same week. The objective criteria is for deciding the proposed alternative. We have to consider the final total cost of tickets and minimize it. Okay, so we find three cases and find out the total cost of tickets, and then find out the best alternative for minimizing the total cost. So in this problem, we have the third case, which is the best alternative present here. So this is our answer. So in this uh, problem, we have learned about the various approaches to operation research problems. We first have Find out the points of the problem, and then we have decided the cases on how we would approach the cases, and then we have found out the restrictions and the objective criteria, and finally we have concluded with our discussion. So in the next videos, we will be discussing about linear programming problems and how we actually use linear programming as a tool for solving operation research problems.